Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is Garrett, Tears to Joy Ministries.org. This video is called Amos 3 6. That's right. You're probably thinking, whoa, what's that? <laughs> what is Amos 3 6? Amos is one of the Old Testament prophets. And we're going to chapter 3, verse 6, because I feel this short scripture is going to bless a lot of you. So now, first of all, let's read it in the American Standard Version. Here we go, Amos 3, 6 in the ASV Bible. That's the Bible that Ivan Panin said was the best Bible we could possibly read for the Old Testament. Okay, Amos 3, 6. Shall evil befall a city, and Jehovah hath not done it? Oh boy, think about that again. Let's look at that one more time. Shall evil befall a city, and Jehovah hath not done it? With a question mark. Okay, now... Let's read the same scripture in the New Living Translation in modern English. This is what the NLT says. Does disaster come to a city unless the Lord has planned it? Now we see a tiny bit of a difference between the two, the, the two translations. Sorry. In the ASV, God is saying that he has done it. In the New Living Translation, they um, translated this Bible by saying, the Lord has planned it. So one is saying the Lord has done it. The other has saying the Lord has planned it. Children of God, check this out. It doesn't even matter. Let me explain why. God is saying does does disaster come to a city unless the Lord has planned it? Unless the Lord has foreordained it to happen? Unless the Lord uses his power to make it happen? Now, I've had this scripture memorized for years and years and years, and I can't tell you how important this is to study. Let me explain that a little bit deeper now. When God says, does disaster come to a city unless the Lord has planned it, foreordained it to happen, and orders it to be done? Children of God, he's not talking about just a city. He's not talking about just a country. He's also talking about your life right there. Yes, God revealed to me six, seven, eight years ago that this scripture is not only talking about a city or a government or a country, it's talking about your marriage. It's talking about your work, your job, your relationship with your boss. It's talking about your children. It's talking about when you're driving down the road and you happen to um, get into an accident. It's talking about your entire life here. And that's why I wanted to single out this scripture and make a video. Look what, Lord, look, look what God is saying here. Does disaster come to a city unless the Lord has planned it, foreordained it to happen? and uses his power and authority to make it happen in your life. Now, why is this so important? Let me tell you why. Because when you study this scripture, when you memorize this scripture, when God helps you to fully understand this scripture, you're going to have more peace in your life when disaster happens. You're going to have more peace in your life because you know that it is God, not Satan, who has planned for this to happen. 
and that it is God and not Satan who has foreordained this to happen in your life. And you're going to know that it is God and not Satan who uses his power and authority to have these things happen in your life. Now, where does the peace come in? I mean, after all, I said that you would get more peace by learning this. Well, let me share that with you. Romans 8.28 tells us that God is using everything for your good. So the peace comes in when you start to learn that God is using hard times and bad times and even disaster for your good. So when you go into work Monday morning and your boss fires you for no reason at all, you can have more peace now because God is going to use this for your good. This is why Amos 3, 6 is so important. Or if you have a tragedy, um, say if you're driving down the road and you get into a terrible car accident, God is going to turn this around for your good. And that's what Amos 3, 6 is talking about. It's talking about when disaster hits a government, a country, a city, the planet Earth, your life, your marriage, your children or your job, God is the one that planned it. God is the one doing it. And you can have peace now because God is in total control of his entire creation. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, Garrett, you cannot single out this scripture and build a theology on it. But the truth is you can, and let me explain why. Amos 3, 6 matches the entire rest of the Bible from Genesis to the end of Revelation. It matches it all perfectly. And because it matches it perfectly, like putting together a perfect jigsaw puzzle, you can take Amos 3, 6 and preach on it. Yes, you can. So let's look at the scripture one last time. We'll use the new translation. That's fine. Does disaster come to a city unless the Lord has planned it? Amen. Children of God, some of you are going through disasters now. I know that, basically speaking, I am. And I want to tell you straight. Amos 3, 6. The Lord has planned it. God has foreordained it to happen before the universe was ever created. And he's using his authority and power to make sure it happens. And you can have peace because it is God that doeth all things, not Satan. It is God that doeth all things. All right. I hope you enjoyed Amos 3, 6. And I pray that God is going to use this scripture to continually change your theology. I really do. Praise God for you.